Hello, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can fix or correct dark knees when it comes to Photoshop. And you can use the same technique to fix dark knuckles when it comes to Photoshop. So this is going to be a very easy kind of tutorial to follow along. And with this tutorial, you're going to be learning how to use frequency separation. The reason for using frequency separation in this video is because we want to correct or lighten the dark knuckles while not tampering or why not interfering with the textures on the skin? So what we want to do, you just want to separate the colors and the textures. And between the colors and textures, that is where the knuckles are going to be brightened or evened out to match the rest of the skin. So I'm just going to come, and for this I'm just going to be using a frequency separation action. Because I assume that you know how to do your frequency separation. So I'm just going to play my action. And for this, remember... We drag up the radius and stop at the point whereby we are just starting to close out on the skin details in the image. So for this, I'm just going to be using a radius of 3 pixels and we're simply going to come and click OK. So after doing that, if at all you don't have this empty layer in your frequency separation action, I'll show you how you can easily add that empty layer because we are going to be using that empty layer to correct the dark knuckles on the knees or to correct the knees that are dark. So select the lowermost layer and after making sure that it is selected, come to the new layer icon and simply add that layer. You can see it has been created. So you can rename it to whatever you want. So the image has been separated into the colors and the textures. So what do you want to do in this case? We just want to get a better color for the knees. So just going to come right here get the normal brush tool and make sure the hardness of the brush is set to 0%. Soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal. Opacity 100%. Flow, we're going to be using a flow of around 2%. So after we have done that, with this layer selected, we are simply going to zoom in slightly to the knees until we can see them quite well. So we just want to sample a color and paint in the dark area of the knees. So, you can slightly increase on the brush size by using the bracket keys on the keyboard. So, to sample color from the leg area or some areas close to the knee, we are, we are going to hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can simply hold down the option key on the keyboard if at all you are using Mac. So, option, so I just sample this bright color, option and left click to sample, alternate, left click to sample a color and you can see we have sampled that color. And after sampling, what is left simply, start brushing gently over the dark area of the knee, just like that. And you can, by just doing this, you can start the knees are going to get brightened. So just take your time as you're painting and sample from various areas to slightly lighten up some areas near or around the knee. So you can see that the knee is now getting brightened, but this is not what we're going to be doing, or it is not the only thing that we want to do to correct or to brighten the dark area in the knee. So just stick around. So I'm just going to brighten this other side. So just sample from this color end, also come and left click and paint over the dark area of the knees, just like that. And by just doing that, you can see that we are having a better looking area in the knees. So just take your time as you are doing all this because the more time you spend, the better the results are going to be at the end of the process. So you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of uh, the brush tool depending on the area that you're trying to brighten or to work on. So you can see the before, after, before, after. And by just doing this, the knees have been brightened. So what do you want to do next? We just want to apply a given color to slightly match the knee area. So we're just going to come to this layer that we created initially before and press Ctrl J or you can use Command J to create a second copy from that layer. But as soon as we do that, you can notice that the knee that we just brightened is going to be brighter, but it looks a little bit odd. So just come to the blend mode right here, left click, and scroll all the way down to 
the color blend mode and this is going to create a better looking color but it's going to be oversaturated so we're just going to come to the opacity of the layer that we created from the original brightening layer and come the opacity and simply take down the opacity so that it can be a little bit subtle and not too much so you can see the before after before after so just move that to your taste or to your liking so I'll just slightly zoom out so if at all you feel like that is not enough for you you can as well come and duplicate this layer once again the original layer and create a copy from it and once again come and reduce on the opacity of the initial brightening layer so let me show the before and after for this so you can see the before after before after before after the knees have been brightened and they look better than where we started so next you can simply do your frequency separation to smoothen and even out the skin tones on the overall leg area so to do this select the color layer or the low frequency layer and come and get the brush tool the mixer brush that's what i mean then for settings hardness zero soft one brush is selected then make sure clean brush is selected and here by clicking on the drop down arrow then select this layer that says clean brush after each stroke weight is 9 load 75 mix at 90 flat 100 percent and after doing that you can simply start blending the tones using the mixer brush tool you can see that we have a number of tones all over the place so make sure sample orders is not turned on so just come and start painting to even out the tones in the overall knee area. So just blend them so that you can have a better and smooth transition. And by the way, the other trick you can use, simply hide or turn off the texture layer so that you can blend the colors without getting any distraction from the textures in the photo. So I'll just quickly do this, but take your time. So if I told you understand the Mr. Brush tool, you can do this in just a few seconds. So do this and blend all these uneven tones in the legs, just like that. So make sure it is not overdone for the need to kind of disappear, just like that. Just do less of it. So come back and turn on the texture layer and you can see the before after before after before after you can notice that even the scar that was existing in the knee area has been eliminated so just come and get the high frequency layer come and get the clone stamp tool make sure the hand is set to zero mode is normal opacity at 100 percent flat 100 percent align this check and the sample is set to current layer so you can now zoom in and you remove all these imperfections like the scars. So hold on the option key on the keyboard and left click to sample a clean area and simply left click once again to replace the scar or the blemish on the knee area with clean skin. So that is how to simply remove the imperfections on the knee. So I've just gone quickly through the process but I hope you understand how this is all done when it comes to uh, using frequency separation so you can say before after before after before and after so take your time and you keep on sampling until when you feel like every area that you need to brighten or to match skin tones or to match skin color has been handled quite well or in a better way so this is it for this video and if i told you i've enjoyed this simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.